Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for this asynchronous presentation for the Teaching for Learning conference titled Seeing and Hearing Flipgrid as an Asynchronous Online Community Building Tool. And I'm your presenter, Michael Dubon. I am an academic literacy specialist at Southern Utah University. I've been in this position since January 2020 and thoroughly enjoying it. I uh, teach college success courses to students on academic probation in our course, SU 1020, Academic Recovery. And so in teaching an online version, uh, an online asynchronous version of our academic recovery course since last fall of 2020, I've been grappling with this uh, thought that when students are in an asynchronous online course, they can often feel like they're learning, struggling, and succeeding in a vacuum. So the question I've raised then is, how do we make our asynchronous online courses feel more like synchronous face-to-face -face classrooms uh, with a sense of student community, greater student and instructor engagement, and physical indicators of student learning and wellness. So I'm hoping by the end of this presentation, you might find a potential um, solution to help address this problem uh, by using Flipgrid as a tool in your online asynchronous courses. So here's how Flipgrid is operating in my classroom. I'm using it as a tool for students to monitor and share out their weekly progress on their meaningful semester goals, for creating a sense of community in our online asynchronous class uh, by allowing students to see and hear each other via their posts, uh, for instructor, and I'm also in an advising role, to get nonverbal and verbal cues into each student's progress and state of being, well being, uh, through watching and grading each post, and for instructor and student engagement by me responding uh, with a video post of my own to each post. Now, here are some student quotes about uh, their Flipgrid usage taken from an end of the semester survey last fall of 2020. So here are what some students have to say about their usage of Flipgrid in our classroom. Flipgrid is a great way to connect and see how your peers are doing, along with voicing your issues aloud. Speaking about the problems you are having helps more than just writing them down, and it provides good feedback from peers and the professors as well. Flipgrid was nice to be able to put a face to a name because the class was strictly online. I felt that it was nice to see everyone's progress through the year via Flipgrid. It helped me do better with my goals. And one recent anecdote that I'd like to share from a student uh, that I have this semester and her usage with Flipgrid is that this student, a non-traditional student, a single mother um, who is also balancing full-time work in school and wanting to set a good example for her child, um, after posting her response to Flipgrid, she saw another student's response and uh, she was also outlining um, some of the challenges of balancing work and school and having children. And one thing he specifically mentioned was that he needs to have his children in bed at a certain time of night so he can get in any kind of studying in the evening. So for this uh, initial student viewing his post, it really resonated with her. And, and she said that she recognized and realized that other students are having the same challenges uh, she's facing. And it made her not feel so isolated um, being a non-traditional student trying to make it recognizing that others are facing the same challenges she is. Now, I'd like you all, uh, I'd like to invite you all to try Flipgrid as well um, via uh, pausing this video and typing in your web browser this link uh, in this slide. And by doing so, you'll be taken to this landing page right here, where you'll be able to record your response to the three questions outlined in the instructions by hitting the record a response button. And you'll be able to experience Flipgrid uh, similar to the way that my students experience it in my classroom. So uh, of one note is that to post to this particular Flipgrid, since it's a public Flipgrid not integrated in Canvas, you will need to log in with a Gmail or Microsoft account. However, 
when Flipgrid is integrated into Canvas, it does not require any additional student login info for them to post. They can just directly post from the Canvas page. Now, if you posted uh, to the Flipgrid, or if you are already familiar with Flipgrid, you may have noticed uh, some of the following elements from the student perspective. So thinking more carefully about your response, knowing it might be viewed by your classmates or re-recording your response just to, to get it just right. So I've had uh, students uh, express those exact sentiments in some of their Flipgrid posts saying, this is like the 10th time I've recorded this video, just wanted to get it right. So here I am last time going for it. And I think that re-recording speaks to the student investment and uh, effort they're putting into it. Um, by having this video posting uh, format and platform. Additionally, um, you may have noticed considering your professional persona or your background environment as a student uh, more closely and how uh, you're presenting yourself as these students do as well. And uh, if you saw other posts in the Flipgrid, um, you may have garnered a sense of curiosity wanting to watch and respond to other peers' videos. Now, here are some things I notice as an instructor when I'm reviewing the video posts and grading them. Uh, so for example, some of the things, uh, indicators that I'm getting that wouldn't necessarily be visible in just a written response uh, that's just directed to the instructor alone is, what the student is saying, uh, how they're responding to the prompts alongside their tone and body language. So, for example, I have this one student who's saying she's doing very well, doing well in all her classes. Um, however, at the time of recording this, she was lying in her bed, um, specifically saying she looked tired. Um, and felt tired. And so that gave me some further context into her overall wellness and uh, to give me some context on how best to advise her in our next one-on-one -on -one meetings to uh, also address her holistic uh, wellness and make sure she's not getting burnt out. Additionally, uh, I get some context into their learning environment. So some of our students may tell us that they have children and are uh, non-traditional students. However, getting some actual insight into their learning environment can definitely uh, be interesting as well, because it's different by, than saying, oh, I have a child, to actually seeing that child run around asking their parent for attention, yelling in the background, um, and getting some insight into the kinds of struggles these students are managing as well in that sense. Um, additionally, um, I've ha had uh, multiple instances of students cheering each other on in post saying, you know, keep going. I hope everyone makes some good progress progress on their goals this week. You got this. Um, and that's something that wouldn't necessarily be available in just um, a written feedback uh, uh, submission to the instructor. And so this is Flipgrid, how it's currently operating in my course version 2.0. So I started using it for the first time in the fall semester of 2020, and now I'm using it again. So um, some uh, edits I've made in this uh, second iteration is making the instructions more concise for ease of student access, as well as um, to address one of the feedback in terms of potential redundancy in making this uh, these post weekly is keeping the first four prompts the same. So A, B, C, and D are, remain um, as static responses that they can choose to answer, as well as having um, two topical um, uh, questions, uh, prompts that change week to week in E and F. And so um, this is one thing to consider as well. I've just been using it for one year and it's been easy to incorporate as well as iterate and reiterate and edit based on student feedback. So why try Flipgrid in your course? Here are some of the benefits. It's free for everyone. There's easy int integration into Canvas and speed graders. And like I said, once it's integrated, it requires no additional login info from students in Canvas. It encourages student-to-student -student collaboration and student-to-instructor communication. And it's enjoyable and efficient to post a quick response as feedback versus written feedback sometimes.
And so if you would like some further resources on how to integrate Flipgrid into your Canvas courses, um, please type in this tiny URL into your web browser and you'll find a Google Doc with some resources there. So thank you all for listening to this presentation and I very much appreciate you and your time. And if you have any questions about this presentation or if you've done something similar and would like to collaborate, please reach out to me at my email at michaeldubon at suu.edu. So thank you very much again for your time. Very much appreciated and have a good rest of the conference, everybody.